Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have my sample Sunday series to share with you guys. So I have all the samples I've tried last week. There are lots of them. So let's get started. I have a little container right here. So the first thing is what is actually is on my lips right now. I really love this lip product. So it has a very long lasting capability. And not only that, I feel like it doesn't smear, which I have a hard time with dark colors like this. Half the time I end up looking like Miranda Sings, the other half I look like Ronald McDonald. Either way, it just doesn't end up looking right on me, but this from Givenchy works really, really well. So this is the Givenchy La Rouge Liquid. Liquid. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but I'm sure what I take it as is pretty amazing. So they had three different colors in here that you could choose from, as well as a little lip like um, tool that you put it on with. So the three colors are these right here. I have a pink one and then more of a mauve color one. And then the color that's on my lips right now, which is the darkest shade. So these shades are Rose Flannel, La Intradit, and Rose Suedine. I think this is a really great product. It's not too drying, because I feel like it definitely has a drying capability. But it's not so drying that I feel like I'm like, I don't know, like raisin lips or something. The only thing I can tell you is because it's such a, a very pigmented color, make sure you do the finger trick because I have ended up with lipstick on my teeth plenty of times trying this product out because it's so, so pigmented and it will kind of like get on your inner rim of your lip and then ends up getting on your teeth. So just make sure you do the lip trick. I mean, the finger trick. As long as you do that, you're good to go. And I feel like it lasts a very long time. So I would love to purchase one of these or maybe a couple of these. I think it's pretty pricey though. So maybe one. <laughs> The next thing is this right here. This is by Clarence. This is the Extra Firming Newt. I have no idea how. You, like some of these things, like I feel like it's like in a different language and I feel really silly when I say them. So maybe you guys know what it says right there. It's the Extra Firming. I have no idea. You tell me. So anyway, this is pretty much just a wrinkle cream. I feel like it's pretty moisturizing, but for me, I need something just a little bit more moisture at nighttime. This is a good one for the daytime, but the problem is using it in the daytime, it doesn't have an SPF in it. So for me, I probably wouldn't purchase this just because my skin needs just a little bit more moisture. So if you're someone with maybe normal skin, you might enjoy this. But if you're someone with dry skin like me and we're getting into the colder months, which means your skin's going to get even drier, I don't think this is going to be good for you. So anyway, that is a pass for me. The next one is this right here. This is the Matrix Style Fixer. This is the Finishing Hairspray. I actually really like this. I styled my hair with curls and everything this whole week. I've been like trying to be a little bit more better about curling my hair. And I feel like it's really good. The only thing is, if you spray too much, which I think that goes with any kind of hairspray, but if you spray too much of this, you can definitely get like the helmet head where your hair feels pretty hard. But it doesn't get flaky, so that's the important thing for me. Is it going to get flaky? Is it going to like get tangly? Have you ever put a hairspray in your hair where it feels like you literally have a rat's nest? Because the hairspray is so, I don't know what it does. It feels like it's like super glue in your hair. And you try to comb through it, and it's just really, really hard to get through. Even when it got pretty hard using this, I never had that problem. It was always pretty easy to kind of comb my fingers through. So I really do like this. I definitely would purchase it. I think Matrix is a really good hair care line. So this is something that I'm very happy to have to have tried and I'm going to continue using it until it's completely empty because unfortunately I didn't use it all the way up which means it's a good thing and a bad thing. I don't know. I have no idea. I just know I've been curling my hair a lot more trying to get a little bit better at it because I feel like that's something that I'm just not that good at sometimes. I feel like there's some days where my hair looks like good. Other days it looks like maybe I might have stuck my finger in the electric socket or something. So either way we're going to continue to push forward. The next thing is this right here. This is the Wella. This is the Perfect Me lightweight beauty balm lotion so there's still a little bit of this left in here because what i do with this i don't use it when my hair is wet because you can use it when your hair is wet but for me with the colder weather coming in i have a tendency to get a lot of static in my hair i don't know if you guys are like that too but if you use a little bit of lotion on your hands which this basically is just a lotion but it's also got hair care benefits to it so just put a little bit on your hand maybe if i can get any out maybe i didn't have much left in here at all Okay, we got a little bit. So if you put a little bit on your fingers and then you just kind of rub it on between your hand, and then it's gonna give you that slick feeling and then you can just rub that through your hair. And that is going to kind of tame down those flyaways. This, you can use your hair on your hair wet or dry. It doesn't really matter. So for this product, I think it's really cool because you can use it either way. And it still has the hair care benefits in it because it does help with like, let's see, what does it help with? I have no idea. It helps with 
Add shine, moisturizes, tames away, tames flyaways, helps repair and protect the, from heat and styling tools. So it definitely has some benefits to it. So I would purchase this just because I do like using kind of a lotion type of product in my hair because my hair, first of all, is already dry. Dry skin, dry hair, I dry everything. So if my hair is already dry, not only that, I do tend to get a lot of flyaways and static in my hair. So I think it would be pretty helpful to have a full size of that. The next thing is from Rituals. This is the Ritual of Hammond. This is the Purifying Ceremony for the Body and Soul. This is the Black Soap. I didn't like this. I love almost everything from Rituals, but this is definitely an exception to that rule because it's not that good. It's a black soap, but it's got like chunky like leaves in it. And I'm like, it kind of grossed me out. It looked like, I don't know, it looked like there was like mud, like somebody had stepped in mud and then put their shoes in the bathtub and then there's leaves floating around, there's black dirt. And I'm like, I don't like this at all. So this was just a no-go for me because of that aspect. Secondly, because I feel like it's a little bit minty. So it's something that you want to use more on your body, definitely not anywhere close to your face or anywhere close to like areas that shouldn't have anything minty on them. So I just, I couldn't find a use for it that I really enjoyed. So for me, this is something that I'm not going to purchase. The next thing is from Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the color adjusting one. So green, which neutralizes red, did not neutralize my red whatsoever. I feel like if you're looking for a good neutralizer for red, hang on, let me find it for you. It's right here. This stuff right here, the Sick of Hair by Dr. Jart. This is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. This works so much better than this. Let me show you an example. So let me just show you what the, this one can do versus what the Smashbox does. I'm going to put a little bit of the Dr. Jart on my finger. So here's the Dr. Jart. And then look, see how much more thicker this is? And it's definitely going to do a better job of getting rid of the redness. And it really does. When I can use this just by itself, because I do have some acne scars and things like that, if I use this by itself, my skin looks so much better. It looks more even toned. This, and this one's more lotion-like. So for me with my dry skin, I feel like this one just feels better. It looks better. Now the Smashbox is a little bit lotion-y, but I feel like there's maybe a little bit of silicone in there as well. And this one kind of looks like pea soup. So eat it before it eats you. So this one definitely goes on green. But then this one kind of just like goes away. And you see like it's not really helping. See the two sides? Like I don't know if you can tell the difference. This one definitely has neutralized. This one still you can see all the redness. I'm just like, what's the difference here? What is this even doing? It didn't do anything at all for my skin, except for give me that little bit of the silicone slip. And I personally don't like the silicone slip. I feel like the silicone slip with my dry skin just kind of peels up. So my skin, if I put that on and then put makeup over top, it almost looks like I'm peeling, like I'm a, a snake or something. I'm shedding my skin. So this is a no-go for me. The next thing is from, this is, who is this made by? Good Owl. This is the Washed Up Deep Clean Pore Glacial Clay wash off pack. This was good, but to be honest with you, I didn't think that it was any better than any other like clay mask that I've ever tried. I don't know the price range for Good Isle, but for me, I just wasn't super impressed with it, to be honest, because I feel like it just was like mediocre. It wasn't, I did, I felt very indifferent about it. I didn't feel like super excited. I was like, I didn't feel like my skin felt really good afterwards. And then I also didn't feel like that my skin felt worse afterwards. So it was just, I felt very indifferent about it. So not something I'm probably going to purchase. The next thing is from Exuviance. This is the Overnight Recovery Mask. This is good. I think that it's a good mask, but for me, I need something definitely with more moisture because a mask, when I put them on, that is kind of like the last step that I put on. So it's like just going to lock everything else in. So I think it was like sandwiches or like a sandwich. You like layer it up and that's what I do with my skin. I like layer my skin's care up my skin yeah my skincare up so that way there it can help my skin and I feel like this just didn't do much so probably wouldn't purchase that either the next two things are the perfumes which is they both have lipstick on them this one is the Victoria's Secret Heavenly oh my gosh this one smells like seriously it's heavenly oh it smells so good I don't know what the notes are to it but it definitely has a very soft like feminine scent to, like smell to it smells very very good almost for some reason, it reminds me of scotch tape. I don't know why, but I just all of a sudden realized it reminds me of scotch tape. Maybe it's because I always get Victoria's Secret for people at Christmas, and at Christmas time, you're using scotch tape. I don't know, but it reminds me of scotch tape for some reason. <laughs> Weird, right? The next one is the Indigo Nest Fine Fragrance. Another really, really good one. This one smells very, very light, 
but it's got a fruity note to it. So if you like a more fruity note, then you might enjoy the Nest one. If you like a more girly, soft, sweet scent, then you might like the Victoria's Secret Heavenly. I think they're both really good. I'm going to continue using both of these. Whenever I find a scent in my sample Sunday that I really enjoy, I have a little th container over here that I'll use it up. So that way there I'm not wasting things because I feel like that's kind of wasteful, even if I've already tried tried it and talked to you guys about it if I haven't finished it there's no point in throwing it away that's just wasting so anyway just thought I'd give you that as a side note just in case you were curious if I ever use up the samples because I do I try to anyway so now we're going to move on to these samples in here so I'm going to pull three out of this basket the first one is oh, what do we got oh something big oh we have the it cosmetics this is the confidence and an eye cream so i've tried the it confident it confidence i've tried the it Com it cosmetics confidence and a cream so i've tried the actual like face cream but i don't think i've ever tried the eye cream so i'm excited about trying that see if it's any good or not i don't know why i put the bowl over there i need it over here goober now the next one is oh we have something from lancome this is the lancome Melian Mousse. Melian Mousse. It's a foaming cleansing makeup remover with ICI honey. It's a rinse off formula. Rinse off formula. Oh gosh, I can't speak. So there's what that looks like. I'm excited about trying that out. I love like things that kind of just help remove your makeup pretty easily. So I heard everybody really liked them when they got in boxy charm. I'm now wishing I would have gotten two boxes because that one seems pretty awesome. The next thing is Clarins. This is the Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. Oh, so we've got an It Cosmetics Eye Cream and a Clarins Eye Cream. So we'll put these head to head. Maybe I'll use one on my left eye and one on my right eye and see what kind of difference they do between each other because that might be interesting to see if there is a difference or if maybe they're not, there is not. So we'll find out. Now we're moving on to the perfume samples. Hopefully I didn't bang into you guys. Oh. I like that sound. It sounds like I'm popping a glass of or a bottle of champagne. The first one is Bergamot. This is by Rag and Bone. I don't want to spray it because I've already had two fragrances on me and it's going to smell a little bit overwhelming here in a minute. The next one is, ooh, Erin Lilac Path. I love the Erin scents because I've tried a couple of them so far and they're really, really good. But I had not realized how expensive Erin perfumes were and I was like, Holy mackerel, that's expensive. So, not sure if I want to fall in love with this or if I don't, but either way, we're going to try it. Now, we're moving on to this basket right here. This is all the makeup products. I'm going to pull two out of this basket. The first one is, ooh, something from Clinique. The Even Better Glow Relight Reflecting Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Is this a color here? Um, neutral MF. So... This is a glowing, I guess, foundation. Almost like a BB cream, I would think. So, I'll have to give that a shot and see. I love the Clinique Workout um, Foundation. That one's really, really good. So, highly recommend that one. The next thing in here is, ooh, MAC. We have a Cleanse Off Oil. So, we have two things to remove our makeup with this week. So, that's interesting. Two things we can kind of show in competition, I guess, again. We've got the, was it Lancome? Who was it? Who was the other one? I don't know. Yes, it was Lancome. Lancome and MAC. So I'll try them two out this week. Now moving on to the body care products. So I'm going to pull two out of here. The first one is Bliss. This is the Lemon and Sage Body Butter Moist Maximum Moisture Cream. So there's what the Bliss packaging looks like. Bliss is something that you can purchase at Ulta, which I thought they were getting rid of it at Ulta, but it's still there. Or maybe they got rid of it at Sephora. No, it was Sephora because Sephora used to carry Bliss. That's what it was. The next thing is a big bottle. Ooh, this looks like I just saw a cupcake. I like cupcakes. This is the Ulta Beauty Buttercream Cupcake. I knew I saw a cupcake. Mmm. So let's see what this smells like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Smells like icing. Smells good enough to eat. Don't give this to your kids because they might try to eat it. Oh my, because I might try to eat it. <laughs> Apparently, but it smells good enough to eat that's for sure now we're moving on to the hair care basket i need to move the goodie bag out of the way so we're going to pull two out of here the first one is dig 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 oh we have the shea moisture this is the cuckoo nut and grapeseed oils damage rehab treatment mask 
definitely need this. I just tried to uh, put some new highlights in, but I didn't want to go too heavy with the highlights, but I just wanted some because I feel like my roots were coming through pretty bad. But whenever you put blonde on your hair, you definitely need to be treating that because so it doesn't get damaged and start breaking off. So I'm excited to try that out. The next thing is this. This is looks like, some, looks like something else. This is damage. This is the Garnier Fructis, the Damage Repair Treat One Minute Hair Mask with Papaya Extract. Go figure, we get two things to treat my hair. Somebody is telling me you definitely need to treat your hair before you have a hay bale on top of your head. So that that is, those are the samples I'm gonna be trying out this coming week and now we're gonna move on to the giveaway for this past week, which is this goodie bag right here. So everything that's inside of here is going to go to, let me pull it up, we have the winner chosen. Kristen Nunez. Kristen, this is your goodie bag, so all you need to do is send me an email and I will mail this goodie bag out to you. The email needs to have your mailing address. I guess I should have said that part. So, Kristen, congratulations. This is your goodie bag. Now we're moving on to the goodie bag for this week. I'm going to be using this bag right here. This is the Origins bag. It's just a cute little clear bag. It does have a price on here still too. $29. So, that's funny. So, I'm going to grab the basket down here. Hang on. I always have to put this one down because first of all, it's very full. Like this is all the samples I use for the sample Sunday giveaway and it's pretty full. So first thing is something big. We have the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick and this is in the shade Chihuahua. This feels like it might be a full size. No, I don't think it's a full size. It's a deluxe size. So there is that shade or that shade, the first product. The next thing is we have the Armani Code. This is the Giorgio Armani Perfume. So here's a perfume to try out. There's two. The next one is Shea Moisture. This is the African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask with Teramid Extract and Tea Tree Oil. So here's a mask you can try out. There's three. The next one is from uh, Winky Lux. This is the Winky Lux Highlighter in Charm. So here's a little Winky Lux highlighter. That's four. Four more to go, guys. The next one is digging, digging, digging. What do we got? Ooh, we have something from Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. So whoever's getting this one's getting almost a full face. Here we got, we got highlight, we've got lippy, we got mascara. Getting you a full face here. Three more. The next one is. Um, oh, we have a mask or no, a cleanser. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Cleansing Gel. So you get to try to cleanse your skin after you take off all your makeup. Two more. The next one is, oh, we got a wipey. Just in case the cleanser doesn't work, you got a wipey. We'll give you an extra because those wipeys are, they're not, to me, not the best sample. So the next one is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. This is the antioxidant super moisturizer. So here's a moisturizer you can try out. Told you, we're gonna hook you up. Last one here, guys. Last thing is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day and Shower Styler. So look, you're gonna style your hair, put your mascara on, your lipstick, and your highlight. And you're gonna be able to wash your hair and wash your face. So. Here is everything in this goodie bag. If you're interested in it, all you have to do is leave me a comment. It doesn't matter what comment, any comment you want. And just make sure you hashtag Sample Sunday. I'd also love to know what samples you've been trying out. Have you been like utilizing your samples? I saw where some of you have been separating your samples out and kind of organizing them so that you can utilize them. That makes me so happy because you guys know I love trying samples out. That's like one of my favorite things to do because first it saves me money because if it's a product that I don't like, then I didn't purchase it. Second, I feel like it kind of gives you guys some ideas too on how the products are working or whether they're good or they're bad. And then lastly, if I fall in love with it, then I can add it to my wish list. So of course there's, it's like always good things about trying samples. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts, your opinions. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.